now we're, our topic for today is about exogenic and endogenic processes. So first, we'll tackle about exogenic processes. Exogenic processes. When you hear exogenic word or processes, what idea comes to your mind? So, exogenic processes. Exogenic processes that these processes that occur on the surface of the earth. So there are types of exogenic processes. These are weathering, erosion, deposition, mass wasting, and sedimentation. So first, we'll, we will tackle about weathering. So weathering, weathering as uh, weathering. The meaning of withering is it can break down. So there are types of there are two types of withering. These are mechanical withering and chemical withering. Mechanical withering. The example of mechanical withering is thermal expansion, like in the roads. Mechanical withering. Example of mechanical withering is thermal expansion, cross bridging. So the second type of uh, weathering is chemical weathering. This is the example of mechanical uh, chemical weathering is oxidation. Chemical weathering. Example of chemical weathering is oxidation, hydrolysis, and there are factors of chemical weathering. These are time, climate plants and animals so chemical withering so there are examples of chemical withering these are oxidation hydrolysis then there are factors of chemical withering these are plants animals time and etc so we will talk about erosion so erosion when we hear erosion. The meaning of erosion is it can take away something or it can remove something. So, okay, guys, going to the next part of the exogenic processes is the position processes. What is the position processes? From the whole deposit, it comes to stop or storage. So what is deposition processes? Deposition processes is the geological processes in which sediments, soil and rocks are added to a landform or landmass. Wind, ice, water and gravity transport previously wet the surface material, which at the loss of enough kinetic energy in the fluid is deposited building a layer of sediment. Next is mass wasting. Mass wasting processes, also known as slope movement or mass movement, is the geometric processes which soil, sand, regulate and rocks of down slope, typically as mass, large, largely under the force of gravity, but frequently affected by water and water content, as in submarine environments and mud flows. And lastly, the sedimentation. Sedimentation processes is a physical water treatment process using gravity to remove suspended soil from water solid particles entreated by the turbulence of moving water may be removed naturally by sedimentation in the still water of the ocean. And lastly, the sedimentation. Sedimentation processes is a physical water treatment process using gravity to remove suspended soil from water solid particles entreated by the turbulence of moving water may be removed naturally by sedimentation in the still water of the ocean. Endogenic process. So there are types of endogenic process. 
processes. So there are types of endogenic processes, then these are magmatism, volcanism, and glutonism, then metamorphism, folding and folding of rocks. And the last one is the type of stress. So the first the first type of endogenic process, these are magmatism. So when you hear magmatism, uh, Volcanism. So, volcanism is a type of uh, endogenic processes that is occurring on the surface of the earth. So, volcanism. When you say volcanism, it refers to the all movement of the molten rock. So, volcanism recognizes the scope of geolog geologic processes that occur on the volcanoes. Stress. So, there are two types of stress. These are confining stress and differential stress. So, confining stress, it's uh, the definition of the confining stress is uniform stress. So, the second one is differential stress. Then, the definition of dif differential stress is an equal stress. So, a fold is a pen in the rock strata. Folding is a type of earth. Movement resulting from the horizontal compression of a rock layer by internal force of the earth along a low plate boundary is part of a fold. Fold and fold. The astrophic processes folding and folding occur when pressure deep within the little square called the earth surface to buckle bend and even split apart. Folding mountains occur where the crust is pushed up as a plate, collides, which cause the crust to raise up in a fold. This causes reverse fold, which are the reverse of normal fold because in this case, the having wall slides upward relative to the foot fold. Shear stress is when rock Stop slide past each other horizontally. There is no vertical movement of either the hanging wall of foot wall and we get a strike slip pop. Three different types of stress. There are compressional stress, tensional stress and this video reviews types of stress. Stress is a force that acts on rock to change its shape or volume. Stress on rocks can cause earthquakes. There are three different types of stress. The types of stress are tension, compression, and shearing. Tension occurs at divergent boundaries where plates are being pulled apart. Stress pulls on the crust and causes the middle of the rock to thin. Think about a rubber band being stretched out. The image on the left demonstrates tension. Notice the arrows are moving away from each other, just like divergent boundaries. The image on the right shows the Great Rift Valley of Africa, which was created by tension. Compression. Compression occurs at convergent boundaries, where plates come together. Stress squeezes the crust until it folds or breaks. The image on the left demonstrates compression. Notice the arrows are moving towards each other, just like convergent boundaries. The image on the right shows the Rocky Mountains, which were created by compression. Shearing. Shearing occurs at transform boundaries, where plates slip past each other. Stress pushes the crust in opposite directions causing rock to break apart or slip apart. The image on the left demonstrates shearing. Notice the arrows are sliding past each other, just like transform boundaries. The image on the right shows the San Andreas Fault, which was created by shearing. 